You're watching Philadelphia 76ers now by Chat Sports. I am your host, Chase Senior. Coming your way on today's show, Joel Embiid okay with management, not making a Ben Simmons trade heading into the February 10th NBA trade deadline. And according to Chris Haynes, the Sixers have discussed a potential De'Aaron Fox trade over the last couple of days. But let's get you caught up with everything going down over the weekend. First of all, I have to say, Philly with two really nice wins over the Boston Celtics, a really dominant effort, and against the Miami Heat, two of the better teams in the Eastern Conference when playing. Well, of course, Boston down there in the Eastern Conference standings, but Miami has been awesome, and they were at full strength in that game against Philadelphia, but the Sixers go on the road to catch that dub. And Joel Embiid over the weekend was asked about these Ben Simmons trade rumors and whether or not he wants the team and is pressured for the team to make a Ben Simmons trade. Now you're thinking, okay, Embiid a little bit injury prone. He's playing at an MVP level up to this point, and really over the last month and a half, he's been incredibly dominant. Don't you think he'd like to maximize the Sixers as a team this year and bring in a good player in exchange for Ben Simmons to maximize his potential as well as the team? He said, nah, because I think he's in line with management and saying, I kind of want to get an all-star back for Simmons. Here's what he had to say, and I thought it was really, really fascinating. Quote, I feel pretty good, and I don't think we've played our best basketball yet. We still got a long way to go. We're missing guys here and there that could really help us. There's really no urgency to change anything. I think we got everything we need. We're going to keep on going, and I'm happy. And by the way, we are recording this on Monday as the Sixers take on the Washington Wizards. So that's just some context there. We're out here grinding when a lot of people are kicking it at the crib off but we are working because we are grinders here at chat sports and my read on this situation is kind of this it looks as though Joel Embiid is on board with the plan now last week we had discussed that Embiid is kind of in line with both Doc Rivers and Daryl Morey about not making a trade right now because he too wants an all-star level player back for Ben Simmons to help himself out to be that co-star that Embiid really never has had throughout his NBA career because I'm not going to slot Ben Simmons in that territory and Joel Embiid wants a Jalen Brown, maybe even a James Harden level player back. And I just don't think with Simmons' current value that they can canvas the landscape and bring that level of player in. So my read on it is that Embiid is on board with the plan. And the Sixers right now, to Embiid's credit, to the point that he had made going into Monday's game against Washington, Philly currently down in the third quarter as we record this, have won 9 of 10 games. And during that span, they have beat some really quality opponents, including the Miami Heat. So I don't think that the Sixers can really be a threat in the East to make a deep run without Embiid getting some legitimate help. I think the Sixers are a good team, and I think they tap out at being a good team. I don't think they're an elite team up there with the Brooklyn Nets of the world with Kevin Durant still out uh, with that knee injury over the next several weeks and with the way that Miami Heat are playing right now. I do think Philly matches up with Chicago. I just continue to stay and stand firm on the fact that I'd love to see the Sixers make a trade to maximize the prime years of Embiid and not waste them, kind of like what this organization did with Allen Iverson in the early uh, 2000s. So I don't envision a deep playoff run with this current roster, and that's why I've been advocating for Daryl Morey to pull the trigger, send away Ben Simmons, and even if you can't get an elite-level player back like you may have gotten last year at this time, the James Harden of the worlds, but maybe you can get a De'Aaron Fox, who we're about to talk about here in just a few moments. So, Philly, I'm interested to see and gauge your thoughts on where you're at with the current construction of the Sixers roster. And as always, we want you to chime in in the comments section down below. Your confidence level in the Sixers with the team as currently constructed. Scale it for me from 1 to 10. 1, not confident at all. 10, very confident. Interested to see what you say. Now, if a Ben Simmons trade does happen this year or over the summer, we're going to have you covered faster and better than everybody else. And here at Chat Sports, we're all about audience engagement and audience interaction. Nobody really does it better than us. That's why we've been able to take over and take off as a company here at Chat Sports. So if you want to stay in the know with the latest Philadelphia 76ers news, rumors, trade rumors, breaking news in an informative and entertaining way, hit that red subscribe button down below. Let's get the 4,000 subscribers ASAP and sub if you're a real one. As for what Embiid has been able to do 
over the last 10 games. Again, prior to that matchup against the Washington Wizards, he's been just flat out dominant. I mean, this is MVP level stuff. This is one of one stuff. Embiid has been top notch and he has really inserted himself into that MVP conversation. Almost 32 points per game, north of 10 rebounds. He's shooting 55 plus percent from the floor. The three point numbers have been very good as well. His passing numbers don't always show up on the stat sheet because he can get either a straight up assist or a hockey assist, but his passing vision has improved, especially out of double teams. And he continues to give this team a very good edge on the defensive end of the floor, giving you a block per night more than a steal per night as well. Embiid, since coming off the COVID list last month and a half, has been arguably the most dominant force in the NBA. So with that, I transition to another question for the audience. Where do you think he ranks among some of the great players in the NBA right now? I mean, LeBron James has been balling out at the age of 37. Steph Curry, a little bit downhill the last couple of weeks. Kevin Durant still up there. I mean, there are so many good players, including the Joker, and the conversation goes on. The talent pool in the NBA is great right now, but where does Embiid rank? Joel Embiid is a top blank player in the NBA. Fill in the blank, and you let me know. Philadelphia 76ers Now Today is presented to you by our sportsbook partner, BetUS. All year, they've been offering a 125% deposit bonus, which is really the best deal that any sportsbook has to offer. How does it work? You plug in that link down below, chatsports.com slash bet, enter the promo code to my right, chat125. Automatically, you get a 125% deposit bonus. And this deal applies for anybody, regardless of where you live. So let's say you put in $100 by using that link in that promo code, you get an additional $125 back. Bet on the NBA, bet on the NFL playoffs. You can do so with BetUS. Get signed up right now. To that Chris Haynes report about the Sixers over the last couple of days discussing a De'Aaron Fox trade. And of course, we've talked about Fox here on 76ers now because he has been rumored to be in some of these trade discussions. And it seems as though some of that momentum has maybe picked up the last couple of days. And when a guy like Chris Haynes says this, you have to take stock in it because you have to figure, okay, it's somewhat legit and it's coming from a decent source. It's not always agent-driven like Rich Paul being in the ear of Adrian Wojnarowski or something like that. But this is what Chris Haynes had to say about the Sixers' interest in De'Aaron Fox of the Sacramento Kings. The Philadelphia 76ers canvassed the prospect of a Fox Ben Simmons trade package as recently as a few days ago, but dialogue remains exploratory with due diligence being done right now, league sources told Yahoo Sports. The Kings have received an abundance of interest in Fox and second year guard Tyrese Halliburton, but the internal plan is to build around those two cornerstones in the backcourt rather than shipping them out, sources said. Now, if you're Sacramento, I mean, this franchise has been an absolute dumpster fire for a long time. I mean, they haven't won a playoff series since the early 2000s. There's been a long playoff drought in Northern California. Why not just hit the reset button? Why not decide to rebuild? And who is going to be a part of that rebuilding process? Is it going to be De'Aaron Fox? teamed up with Tyrese Halliburton. You drafted Davion Mitchell in the top 10. I like him. You have Rashawn Holmes, who's once again having a very good year. But for De'Aaron Fox up to this point, how does he figure into the Sixers' plans if they do want to make a trade for him? He's averaging around 20 points per game. That's great. You know what's not great? His three-point numbers. He's been abysmal from deep this year, 25%. That's not good. But at this point, considering that Simmons' trade value is somewhat damaged, why not? And this is the type of all-star level player that we were talking about in De'Aaron Fox. Now, he signed that contract extension a couple of years ago. He's somewhat expensive, but he can be that go-to scorer down the stretch, teaming up with Embiid and make this team somewhat interesting. Now, I also think about this. Like, does he clash in terms of on-court fit with a guy like Tyrese Maxey, who I think is close to becoming a De'Aaron Fox type of player and down the road I think could potentially be better? I don't know. What do you think, though? Would you be happy with Fox for Ben Simmons? I'm somewhat torn on it, but like at this point, like I said, why not? Because how is Ben Simmons' trade value going to change dramatically from this point on until the end of the season? Type Y for, yes, you're interested, you'd be happy with it. Type Ben for no, and as always, hey, give me a follow on Twitter, at Chase underscore Senior. It's the same handle on Instagram as well. Love interacting with my fellow Philadelphians. Grew up in Westchester, went to Temple, been rooting on this team since I was like five, six years old. You got a question about what I do? Life, Sixers, basketball, football. I cover it all here at Chat Sports. Give me a follow. Hit me up. Slide in those DMs.